The Club Best Practices Manual was created in order to support and help club head referees in their role with match official development at the club. Very often club head referees are a person that's thrown into a role because it's a requirement of Ontario soccer policy for any club with a youth program to have a club head referee. This document is to provide resources, support and access to other areas which will help them do their jobs. There's a need for a document that outlines the best practices because clubs need a pathway um, for their match officials and they need to be able to, to demonstrate and to show to them what it is that they can build towards in the future. I believe there's a need for it because, as I said, having recently become a club head referee, I've had to dig deep for information um, to other people, other sources, other club head referees. I've been very good and give me information, but having a document I can refer to is much easier for me. With the new club head referees, you'll give them a, um, an idea of what the requirements are for them to perform their duties as a club head referee to have officials ready for the summer season. Based on discussion with the club community members, we understood that there needs to be best practices at each club. So what we have done is we have created five minimum standards that each club can deliver with no budget impact. All are done through resources supplied by Ontario Soccer. Club best practices will benefit a club like mine in Aurelia in the sense that it will give us consistency um, and allow us to give a program to a new club head referee or new referee assigner coming in. Uh, we, we go through a lot of volunteers, so we'll be able to give that, that individual a set of um, a framework as to how match officials should be developed within the club and uh, how the practices work uh, for refereeing. Once we gathered all the information and decided that the club best practices needed to be created as part of the LTOD program, we brought in a group of people and they range from executive directors, club technical directors, club administrators and referees and asked them to help us create this document so that it would cover all aspects of match officials development programming at the club level across Ontario. I believe with this uh, process and with the club best practices, there'll be a streamlined uh, process. You'll have club head referees and new referees communicating, uh, resource sharing, and it'll help with retention rates. With the district and Ontario Soccer working together, we can supply those resources to them, we can help them, we can help them get through the good times and the tough times to recruit and retain referees. All a part of the longevity of having a referee is keeping them as well as developing them. I'm really excited to see what kind of positive impact this is going to create for clubs of different levels across the province.